Hey guys, what is up? The Badminton Solo here coming to you with another video. Um, this one's gonna be a little bit different as you can tell from the title, and it's gonna be basically how to solo from any le from any level and from any school. So obviously there's gonna be little factors that that are gonna affect the the effectiveness <coughs> sorry of the solo so in my case, I'd be balanced and then level 125, obviously. But there is one key strategy that does, well, that almost works for any level in any school. And it's basically, well, this is the one that worked for me and the one that I used for the majority of, uh, of the Imperia solo. Uh, which I started using around Mirage, I think. I'm not too sure. Sorry if you hear any background noises, by the way. I'm not sure if you can hear them. But anyways, um, one strategy or... Well, this is a deck I would use, obviously. Uh, which would be... You put all your buffs in. Okay, so take off any single item card that need two one hits just in case the boss... Um, um, I'm so sorry. Hold on. I, I need a... I'll be right back. Hold on. I'm super congested. Hey guys, sorry I'm back. I had to uh, <coughs> blow my nose for a moment. But basically, you put your buffs in. You take off any item card that you need to. Two one hits just in case. Or, or three. It really depends well, who you're going to. Who you're going against. In case the boss uh, does weakness or, or tower shield. So basically, you put your your buffs in so example uh i enchant i enchant the the balance blade i enchant the the ba uh ba blade storm maybe i don't know more and then i enchant the elemental blade and so to f to basically what you're supposed to do is you stack uh all your buffs in but with one spell and so you leave all you put your heels in your uh, treasure card deck and so basically you start stacking up and the point of the stra the, the point of the strategy is to stack as fast as possible and to kill the boss uh, if effectively now this is a strategy that worked for me and so it's one that really varies across what school and what level you're on however so this is like the, the what's it called how you set up your deck is one factor the other two factors would be your gear setup and your your uh, pet obviously um i honestly think gear is probably like the biggest factor that is going to set set you up for success when you solo partly because you know um Basically, I mean, it gives off your stats, obviously, like, how much you're able to resist, how much you're able to give off, um, block, crit, and whatnot, mostly for the majority of my solos, I'll usually go defensive, but if I just want to go my way through as quick as possible, I'll use this strategy, however, like I said before, it just, it all depends on, on the school you're going up against. I mean, the school you're using, so, as you, if you guys ever seen Michael Storm race um, videos or solos, uh, his YouTube channel is The Gamers Official, he, he, uh, basically, he, he was a storm, character, uh, storm wizard that would solo a lot of, a lot of bosses, and so, as I said before, there's, there's some defects that each school has. And I think Ice and Death are the most, or are the easiest uh, schools to solo with. Partly because, well, yeah, because Ice you could resist, you could resist uh, a lot of attacks, and you can stack up with the uh, high blades, regardless of your if the spells are kind of weak and whatnot. And then Death, all you have to do is stack up. And the more the bigger the attack, the more the more you get out of the heal. 
because uh, that uses a lot of um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? <sighs> the one where you hit and then they give you they give you half of the uh, half the heal. I forgot. But anyways, um, I said that they're definitely the easiest. I'd say the easiest uh, schools to uh, solo with. Um, for fire, it's it's a similar strategy to to storm. They have a little bit more health, yeah, um, but essentially they're pretty much the same thing. Uh, life. Well, life is like ice, but they have less attacks, but they're able to heal more. Um, I'd say the hardest would be soloing, uh, I would say, soloing with the life, but as a low level. Which there, I would I would just recommend using a lot of treasure cards in that case. If you were to, if, if you were to solo at that level and at that school. Um... The myth, I think, might be one of the hardest s schools to solo with, basically because they have decent, like, blade stack-ups, but they don't have any heals at all, if you think about it. And the resist isn't that good. I mean, if you could use minions, but for me, I don't know if that's... Kind of, well, that's a hazy line because you could use minions, but I'm not sure if that counts as a solo, which I'm not too sure about, but uh, I'm not really sure about that, but um, I guess for myth, you could use the same strategy as a, uh, my bad, hold on, you, you could use the same strategy as, uh, as fire and uh, what's it called? Fire and Storm, but you're going to have to use a Life Mastery, obviously. That's By the way, that's another huge factor. Uh, 1k factor that would... That really helps if you're soloing as a Myth, Storm, or, well, in any school, if which is optional. But I think it would be mandatory or essential if you're going to be soloing uh, for, with uh, Storm, Myth, Fire, and Ice, I'd say would be so, uh, to have a Life of Mastery amulet, which which would allow you to heal easier without, you know, using unnecessary pips. I have one on my Storm and my, I think on my Ice. No, one on my Storm and one on my, one on my Fire, but I switch back and forth sometimes and whatnot, but... Um, yeah, so that's what the that's the basic uh, setup for like any school and for like regular bosses. However, cheating bosses are a whole another is like another and is an entire completely story because there what I would usually do is based based off of my my past experience and like what I'm telling you guys is. If, okay, let's say for example, I'm gonna solo. Uh, let me see what's a what's a good one. Like okay, for example, like the bo the boss I soloed uh, yesterday, Corporal Tennyson. I <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce his name, but basically what I would usually do is I would search up the boss, uh, check out check his 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 cheats. And see which strategy I could go to go with. So it all depends, as I said before. Okay, so basically, um, there's different strategies that you could use. You go high resist, where you set up your, which is why this was like such a big deal to me because this like for solo uh, against like bosses that go high attack, this could be really 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 useful. So let's say I'm going against like, like an elemental boss. I'd go more elemental resist, obviously. Um, so yeah, I would be at eighty percent, and that's still ninety one percent. But that's obviously that's because you need to get good gear and and a, and a good pet. And so, basically, 
all you have to do so it's, it's not that hard well it is hard but like in a way it's not that hard either well, the most you could the most you could do is um just set it set up your your spell deck so you could so you have a way you could go through the cheats and still win obviously but another passive strategy i would i would do which i used on i think on morgant and one of the three uh it was like three bosses from Mirage. Uh, I forgot. It was like three brothers, three Weasel brothers. I forgot. It was like Ice Storm and Life, where you'd go Universal Resist, and we, you would use um, you would use uh, what's it called? Uh, I think Dark Shepherd or Dark Fiend. I'm not sure. But basically, you you would you'd uh, tank all of the damages, and then you cast Dark Shepherd, and you start healing or you cast Dark Fiend, or you start spamming uh, Sandstorms, which is what, which was a strategy I used against Morgant and you know three Weasel brothers. But I'll put it up on the screen uh, once I remember. Yes, but uh, when you're going to okay, when you're going in a dungeon, uh, I recommend going uh, getting a lot of elixirs. Um. Basically, because you know dungeons are going to require you to fight multiple bosses, but you mean if you want, you could flee and then get more health. You know, um, what else? What else? What else? What else? What else? There is a lot more stuff I want to talk about, but it's not coming to me at the moment. Uh, if you're going up up against a boss that. That you can't, where the boss doesn't let you heal. Basically, you're not to set up for like a quick, a quick, uh, a quick uh, spell deck setup where you have to stack up really quick and just hit. Or if the or the if the boss doesn't let you stack up hits and doesn't let you heal, which was my case, I think in Shane Mod Shane. Because he would either, he wouldn't let me fake me because he would either ca uh, cast me power and then for blades he would attack me for every um, blade I would set up or something like that, I'm not too sure. Basically you would have to go full out uh, death resist and spam with attacks, which is the same strategy for young Mor Morgant. Uh, so yeah, there's honestly there's just, uh, there's like a bunch of different strategies that you could use on different bosses, obviously they're... I haven't soloed uh, Aphrodite because I haven't had the pet for that either. Because there's so much you could do with just gear and just spell deck setup. Um, but for harder, harder bosses, I, you're gonna have to you have to um, up your gear setup, your spell deck setup, or your pet your pet setup, which I think is the hardest one to get for me. But yeah. But yeah. If you wanna, if you wanna bring up your effectiveness on soloing, it'd be either through better gear, um, better pets, and better uh, deck setup against the boss you're going up to, obviously. So a couple of bosses I haven't soloed yet would be Aphrodite, partly because um, uh, the you need to spam the boss with a lot of attacks. You need to go high resist, I think, and. Honest, I haven't even thought of a strategy for that yet, but if you're going against some, um, like, I want to say, like, greedy really hard bosses, uh, like Yevgeny, like, on from Darkmoor, um, I'll put in the link in the description uh, below, um, um, this guy that soloed, it was a life wizard, I soloed this, um, he went high, which is very unique, I haven't seen this one, I think I've only seen it from him. Where you go high, high income and how I I high oh my god <laughs> how high outgoing healing, which is pretty hard to, like to get a, a type of gear like that depending on the on the on the what's it called depending on, depending on the school that you have for me it wasn't that hard um I used let me see. I think it was, I think it went Jade, I don't know, it's like, it's, it's very specific gear, 
Did I even use this one? I don't remember. I don't think I did. I'm not, I'm not sure. But basically, yeah, you go high crit, but high income and high outgoing. And what I did was I used a similar strategy because he would stack up, stack up on blades and faints and do high heals. But what I did was I did high heals as well, but I only used faints to stack up anything would kill him with a sad word. Uh, but yes, yeah, so that's another unique strategy. So, anyways, guys, I'm gonna end the video here. If you guys wanna, if you guys wanna see more specific uh, solo guides for low levels, mid level, and high level for each school, um, get th let's get this video like at least to like I wanna say um ten likes this time. I'm not gonna push it too far. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, guys, leave a like. Comment, subscribe. Um, I might do a patch hat give a giveaway of this pack because I know I don't know if you guys want this pack or any of my packs really. You guys leave a like. You guys need to leave a like. Um, just let me know in the comments below. And yeah, if you guys want to see any more uh, videos like these, like solo guides, uh, I would get it at ten. Uh, you guys would have to get it at ten likes. And um, if I were to do it, it'd be, it'd be in three different parts, so it'd be low level, mid level, and high level, so basically 1 through 50, nah, nah, chill, hold up, I'm gonna say 1 through 40, 40 through 80, and 80 through 120, like the level, so the low level kind of would be one, uh, level 1 through 40, mid level would be level 40 through 80, and then high level would be, um, would be level 80 and above all right so anyways guys i'm gonna end the video off here thank you for watching like i said